welcome back to the coolest channel on youtube look man we got a lot of strange videos out here that y'all been sending me I, I i threw them on this uh video right here and we're just gonna go through them man look i'm not in charge with what y'all believe man make sure y'all going out here doing your own damn research look but one thing we're gonna do we're gonna set a positive vibe we're gonna have a good time man go ahead share these videos with your friends and your families man gather around man uh look man things are getting interesting out here but guess what we're here for it. Just know if you're going through a tough time in life, just know, man, you're not in it by yourself. We're going through this thing called life together, no matter where you come from, your background. Let's get it. The chemicals that seep into your skin, causing many to become deceased, is being put into millions of children and adult clothes. And this is no accident. People were terrified after South Korean researchers reported alarmingly high levels of deadly chemicals in over 144 Shein, Temu, and AliExpress clothes, with levels 10 to 229 above the legal limit. Deadly chemicals like phthalates and lead that when worn for hours at a time daily can result in obesity, diabetes, heart issue, premature births, infertility, mutation of the cells, and many more issues that can form within a year and for some, just months. Reports from Science Directly warns us that once the clothes enter the home, we are in danger, as these chemicals will stay, become airborne, and be breathed in. It can even spread to other clothes if in the same machine or even contaminate food. The most concerning issues have been found in shoes and jewelry. While they do exist in clothes, it's a bit less. It almost seems that people don't believe me when I tell them that the polyester and nylon yoga athletic outfits are literally made of plastic. Polyester and nylon is plastic, polyethylene terephthalate, and it's plastic processed with insane amounts of chemicals, phthalates, bisphenols, PFAS, forever chemicals, uh, which are all endocrine disruptors messing with hormones. It's like they don't even believe me when I tell them. And it's because it's such a hard truth to swallow that it can be causing disease inside of you, can be causing all these issues. It's literally pure, chemically processed pure plastic. And the reason it has these moisture wicking and all these properties and it's great at getting rid of uh, moisture and bouncing off moisture is the chemicals they use to process it, the forever chemicals, that's what's giving it those abilities which make it a thousand times more harmful. It can literally cause infertility. Say you do have a child and you're wearing these polyester nylon plastic outfits, it can cause developmental issues in the child. Boy, we don't need no more developmental issues with people out here in this world. On a positive note, look, man, I've been contacted in numerous times. Like this is a thing on YouTube. Like they want, companies want your advertisement on your channels. I'm not gonna say the companies though. But I will say this, I have been contacted on multiple occasions by different companies that sell poison and want me to advertise it on this channel. And I have not sold y'all out. They're offering some pretty big money, but I'm not doing it. Part of the matrix. I didn't shake out of that shit until after I got hurt. So a lot of people may look at my story and be like, man, he's the biggest what if, blah, blah, blah. You right. What if I didn't get injured? What? I would not have found myself. I still would have been a part of the fucking circus, bro. What is the circus? I mean, going along with the act. Break, break it down. Is it okay? You got into that. Yeah. All right, what's the I didn't just tell you? Right. The circus. Only looking up shit that's on Instagram that they feed to you. That's the circus. Where it's like, oh, Black history, you learn something about black history, and it's like, oh, I'm about to look this up now. That's the matrix. Instead of you going and looking up, like, all right, if I'm into cameras, I want to know who made Sony. And I want to know who, who, how did, he, how did he make his money? And who was his family? And what school did he go to? And what was his interest in making camera? What triggered him to make that camera? Instead of you standing online, like, oh, a black man made the camera. Or some made the camera, this and that. I want to know the interest. And I didn't understand that till after I got hurt. Like, uh, the hat I got on, like, my nigga. Yeah, for sure, but. This is my Liberty Bell, bro. You feel me? This is my, I, I'm, I'm free, bro. Like, I'm trying to break, get as much liberation as possible. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I wear the hat. Motherfuckers want to know why I wear the hat. I wear the hat because I'm trying to break free. I'm trying to get free. I'm trying to get as much knowledge as possible. 
I'm, I'm tired with, I'm, I'm done with information and education because it could be weaponized. Ding, 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 trying to wake the masses up. Hey, this video right here, yo. They ripped the audio away from it. They ripped the audio away from it. But y'all can see what's going on. We're going to build, though, with what we have. And it's just crazy that how y'all can send clips. Some of the clips I've seen before, but they say a lot about what's going on and what we can see happening currently. Come on now. Come on now. They knew everything that was going to be happening. So all they're trying to do is, 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 is capitalize off what is already known, the Akashic Records. Something that anyone could own. Um, so you can have your own personal R2D. The new Cybercab. Cyber cap looks amazing. I know. I'm trying to get a ride. Dude, me too. And uh, directly. I mean, this is. Elon. He's a techno king. <laughs> Optimus can talk? Yeah. He also does sign language. Yeah. Okay, if you're at all like mentally unstable or fragile, don't watch this one. So I've made a lot of videos about organoid intelligence in the past. That's where you take human brain cells and grow them in a petri dish and then use a computer to train them just like AI. They're actually more powerful than AI in that they learn quicker and are more energy efficient, but there are huge ethical concerns with them because they have similar brain activity to a premature baby. And there's a lot of people out there that object to these because there's a decent amount of evidence that they're conscious, just like a person. I recently posted a company called Final Spark, and they actually have something called Neural Platform where you can rent out essentially server space on these organoid brains so you can pay for them to do things for you. This is a live stream of the organoid brain computers that you can rent out, but there's something way more concerning on their website. And that's this simulation, which the brains are fed sensory data from so that they can feel everything the butterfly feels and control it to like fly around. The reason why that's terrifying is there's a good chance the brains, if they are conscious, just believe they are that butterfly. Because when they're not in use by someone purchasing their computational power, they just fly around and exist in that simulation. And you probably already see where I'm going with this, but if this is possible, you can make a pretty good case that we are just organoid brains somewhere and this is the simulation that we're in. And maybe like when you daydream or just fall asleep, that's someone using your consciousness to do something else. I don't know, but crazy to think about, crazy times. I don't wanna think about that shit. Keep, let's go to the next one. <laughs> hey, that's, that other one give you uh, iRobot vibes, right? Like it's only a matter of time before these robots start whooping on our ass. And a lot of you guys are going to disagree with this. There are many chosen individuals that are way off the path, way off the path. And I'm going to tell you, this is, our, this is a, an Achilles heel for the chosen. There are many chosen individuals that are way, way off the path because of alcohol. And them, they like it. It's, it's a kryptonite to the chosen. It's a kryptonite to the chosen And you, what you'll notice is If you're chosen If you're chosen If you pull back off alcohol You'll notice that Nothing else seems to take your energy like alcohol Nothing right. Alcohol is a kryptonite to the chosen 
kryptonite. Yeah. So I, the chosen is like Superman. You 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 can drink oil and people be like, this is crazy, you're gonna die. The only thing that's gonna really, really affect you, really, really like take you off your square, is alcohol. It'll take you far, far off your square. Yeah. It's gonna take you far, far, far off your square. This is this fuel, man. These chosen ones got a fuel. It's like a, it's like a superhuman fuel. There's only very few things that are actually kryptonite to your energy. Alcohol is one. Here's another thing, you know, um, about those who are chosen. And a lot of you guys are gonna disagree with the Anunnaki. Russia's President Vladimir Putin had a secret meeting with the Anunnaki. Most of the UFO activity you see in the sky is these beings returning. They travel via Stargate and can be there one second and gone the next. They were too technologically advanced for Russia to monitor their ships. Collision to cough bullets didn't work on these beings. They literally bounced right off of them. They had advanced plasma-based weapons that made light work of Russia's military. According to whistleblowers, Russia has seven encounters with these beings. Typically, the Anunnaki govern areas that are entrenched with war. A lot of these beings take residence in subterranean parts of the planet. Some of the beings that fought in the Orion Wars are still worn on this planet. There's a lot of different entities in subterranean military bases. Most of the underground bases are reptilian cloning facilities. A lot of these bases are concealed in Antarctica. This is why Antarctica is so heavily guarded and protected by military. The people running this government aren't really human. They're reptilian shapeshifters. Politicians are just puppets. There's a shadow government behind them. The ancient stargates are reactivating and new beings are visiting the planet. As the years come, the Anunnaki will reveal herself. Russia's President Vladimir Putin had a... Our food is done with. Our food is done with. We have no more. We have no more food. It has all melted and our refrigerator already fucking stinks. We tried our best to keep them cold with frozen water bottles but yeah all that meat is now bad and it's literally all that we fucking had we had just went to the grocery store right before this fucking hurricane all this shit stinks so bad and we have no money to replace it and you know what guess what fema they denied us during Halloween, so uh, we'll see how you know they help us this time around. They denied everybody during Halloween. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah. Will we be able to eat after this? I have no idea. I know I'm starving because yesterday all I had was a fucking tuna fish sandwich. The thing to get me about that, so they turn it down people for, you know, they turn down funds to people, but they give all these immigrants all of our damn money and fund all of these wars. They got billions and billions of dollars that for that, but they can't even give you a couple hundred dollars, uh, which is crazy. Then Kamala's was trying to give seven fifty to people. What? Like, come on. The, the the price of food is outrageous. Every time I go to the grocery store, I get something simple. Like I I like like I plan one meal. Right, one meal will cost like two hundred dollars. Everything is expensive. It's expensive. It's it's, it's fuck to even breathe air. Surprised they don't have an air tax. They want to tax everything. But you got to see, like, I ain't going to lie, though. They should have cooked that damn chicken before it went bad, though. Be for real. Like, if that's all you had, I would cook the chicken, salt it, and have it in a jar, you know, try to make it last something, you know. that It's a good time for your husband to, uh, to practice his hunting skills, go shoot some birds or some shit. I don't know. It's getting real out here in this world. My wife joined a cult. <laughs> Okay. She moved down the middle of the night <laughs> and took the kids. <laughs> I came back from a trip, <laughs> expected her to pick me up at the airport. <laughs> she said, read your email. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> she went with a cult leader and she changed the password on her bank account and stole all the money from the house I bought. <laughs> That's the face of pain right there. It's not even possible. Like, how did they know that Mars was the red planet and why was it a worldwide fact? The Saturn had rings. Yeah. Based upon what information? Because nobody worldwide is disagreeing. 
This is that thing that you see that all the Anunnaki guys that have that look like a rich watch and they always have it and you're always trying to see what that is. Yeah, what is that? It is a time, it's a compass. It's a time keeping compass. And the emerald tablets of thought are literally mind changing mind-blowing. It's given in first person and that's not possible. The things that are being said are impossible. Enough time has passed though that it's not like that. He literally says, hey there's a spaceship on earth and this is where it is. Sir, the Anunnaki just took over New York. That's just a damn video game, but that don't that shit feel like they're trying to tell you something? Like out of all stuff we've been watching, I right, bet I've seen that before. But every time it just hit a little different. They got different trailers for it. Wild, all of a sudden. For some reason, I believe the Anunnaki wants Kamala Harris to be the new president. All you have to do is follow the breadcrumbs. The Anunnaki is a group of alien life forms that come from a different solar system, but they control everything on this planet. They say most of these beings are actually black people. Before I go further in this topic, I want people to understand that the number nine is non-ether. Non-ether is connected directly to dark skin or black people. He said Joe Biden stepped down because of illness at the age of 81. What did Kamala Harris do? She raised $81 million in 24 hours. So he stepped down at 81. Eight plus one is nine. Then she raised $81 million. Eight plus one is nine. These people speak in language and codes. They are trying to tell you number nine is about a black person. Black people will lead this country again. I'm not saying the righteous black people will lead the country, but we will see this black woman be president. When we look at these people that control this world, we think they are really the controllers. No, the Anunnaki control and dictate everything. Whatever they want to happen, it will happen. The reason why so many people can't understand this is because they are not using language. They are using certain symbols of the universe. Too much going on in the world right now. Everything is being set up for the Age of Aquarius. The Age of Aquarius is an air element, but it represents the law of water. This old system will be flushed out and detox, and we will see a great change in this planet. Once these Anunnaki make certain calls like this, no one can stop it. I mean, no one. Remember how they say, so above, so below? If there is a system going on on this planet with a woman that could be the president, there is a system going on up in heaven where is a woman that control everything. They say the mark of the beast is 666 and the number of God is 999. So Kamala Harris, $81 million. Number nine, Joe Biden stepped down, 81. Another nine, we are missing one more nine. Once we get the other nine, mission is complete. I, I don't agree with him saying that Kamala is going to be the president, even if the Anunnaki want her to be. It's too obvious. That's when, well, it, it could possibly happen. They can steal their election, you know, whatever they want to do. But 
I don't think this is going to go over well, y'all. That's why, you know, uh, whatever. You have. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Two types of Anunnaki, right? You got the Atlantean Anunnaki, which is all of us. And then you got the Sumerian Anunnakis, which were what the Africans created. Okay. The Africans are who? Us. But the Africans created the Sumerian text after they were after we fell in frequency. So basically the Africans who made up this lie about the Sumerian Anunnaki were basically under spells and they were put they were just telling false stories about the real Anunnaki to hide the truth of who the Anunnakis really are. All the way down to the point where it's like, if you look it up, <coughs> it's gonna say Anunnaki gonna relate back to Sumerian any Sumerian tablets. What Sumerian text? <coughs> you're gonna see that's where the credit gonna go to when you started talking about Anunnakis or Anunnaki. I told somebody on Instagram, got into my post, and was like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Why are you lying to people? We the Titans, the fucking uh, Anunnaki are, the, are, the, are, the, are what the Africans created. Well, he true about them Africans creating that in a textbook. But no, because he said the Titans, because he thought we was Titans. Listen, we are the name of your species is Anunnaki God. If you have if you are black or Latino, you are Anunnaki God. The, the why is it called Anunnaki? Because this is Planet Kai. And we are the Anunnaki. We've been Anunnaki, so that's why we named it Planet Kai. The fuck? We didn't name it Planet More, nigga. <laughs> we didn't name it Planet Titan, motherfucker. <laughs> we was we the Titans. No, we not, nigga. You need to go within more. Nigga, the Titans are the 72 powerful ancestral spirits and energies that are locked deep within your genetics, you goofy, smoothie. The Titans are the ones that they trying to seal the fuck up, which is why they got motherfuckers taking the little vaccines and shit. Learn something, man. Instead of trying to get in here and help the CIA discredit this truth. Nigga, the people waking up regardless, man. We rising, nigga. Everybody see through all that fake shit. Nigga, we ain't got a lie, nigga. Fuck the Moors, nigga. They ass sold us. Hey, you want to know what's crazy about that is? It's like, y'all remember that movie, uh, Remember the Titans? What did we know about, like, Titan movies and stuff like that, right? That football movie, Remember the Titans, they always fall short. It seems like they always fall short. And you got to think, man, like, what a, you know, with the vaccination, I do know for sure is, I'm not going to say who it is, but I'll say this. I know people with uh, gen genetics within certain bloodlines that they they, they want to study their blood. I got to keep this real vague. They got to study their blood. Like the doctors want to study their blood because there's been genetic mutations and the children have been getting bigger and bigger. I know this for a hundred percent fact that is currently going on, man. And not going to say who it is because yeah, I know how this thing can get, but it's crazy. Some of us out here have amazing genetics that they want to study because it's always changing. Just like these, this, the, the, the changes that's happening with the sun. If y'all look up that information, if you, if you did, let me know in the comments down below. It is show you that our genetics are changing and it's all of us, not just one type of us, not black people, white people, pink people, purple people, the green people under the ground and all the other shit too. It's changing everybody. But yeah, let's get back to it though. Interesting. The Anakim or Anakites were a formidable race of giant warlike people who occupied the lands of Southern Palestine near Hebron before the arrival of the Israelites. Their ancestry has been traced back to Anak, the son of Arba, who was regarded as the greatest man among the Anakim. The name Anakim is said by some to mean long necked or tall. Some scholars have theorized that the Anakim could be connected to the Anunnaki, celestial beings from ancient Mesopotamian texts. This connection suggests that the Anakim were descendants of these powerful cosmic entities, akin to the Nephilim, who dominated the earth in ancient times. When the 12 Israelite spies returned from exploring the Promised Land, they reported encountering people great and tall, identified as the sons of Anak. Overwhelmed by fear and perceiving themselves as mere grasshoppers in comparison, the Israelites rebelled and refused to advance into the land. Despite assurances not to fear the Anakim, 
the Israelites' lack of faith resulted in them being barred from entering the Promised Land, with only Joshua and Caleb as exceptions. Consequently, they were condemned to wander for an additional 38 years in the wilderness. During the conquest of Canaan, Joshua successfully expelled the Anakim from the hill country, and Caleb eradicated them from Hebron. However, a small remnant found sanctuary in the cities of Gaza, Gath, and Ashdod. This enduring legacy has led many scholars to speculate that the descendants of the Anakim may have included the Philistine giants David encountered, such as Goliath of Gath, possibly linking them further to the mythos of the Anunnaki. is not supposed to be singular in the Bible. It's plural in all cases, gods with an S. But you see that in certain languages, yeah. like uh, God in Spanish is Dios, mm -hmm. not Dio. So that exactly. would be gods. Yeah. There yeah. is a plurality to it. You know why? Because but that they, is Father, they, Son, Holy Ghost maybe? No, they just copied it from the ancient texts and tablets. Mm -hmm. In the ancient texts and tablets, it's multiple gods. In the Bible, you have the gods are Enlil, who's also known as Yahweh in Yahweh. the Bible. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you also have yeah. Amun-Ra, the great Amen. He's, you know, when you, when you you say the Lord's Prayer, that's Anki's prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven, give us the air daily bread, blah, blah, blah. That's Ptah's prayer, who's also known as Enki, yeah, Enki. In which religion? In Christianity. Enki is in Christianity. No, no, he's that's he's ancient Sumerian. That's, that, okay, that's Sumerian. And yeah. who, and, and he's an Anunnaki, so you pray to him. Also, another mistranslation is the... These monsters have been keeping humans captive, silently watching them from outside their homes every night, even imitating their every movement in word. Their goal is to transform into human form so they can blend into the human world. At this moment, a violent banging on the door is heard, indicating that the monsters have become extremely angry because the rules have been broken once again. The group pushes a cabinet against the door only to discover a square imprint where the cabinet originally stood. Daniel strikes the floor with force, causing it to deform. When they move the floor aside, they find a hidden passage. With danger looming, they quickly climb down the ladder. The cellar is filled with food, enough to last the four of them for years, and even more so, there are various research manuscripts. Looking around, a computer catches their attention. Fortunately, the computer is still in good condition and can be turned on. The content on it is a research log by a professor named Rory. He was the one who accidentally discovered these mysterious creatures and built this fortress in their habitat, referring to the place as Wonderland. At that time, the creatures held no ill will toward him and simply observed him motionlessly from outside the house every night. However, as time passed, the monsters began to resemble him more and more, and one of them even appeared in the form of a child right before his eyes. This particular one had far greater copying abilities and more complex emotions than the others, which led the professor to a bold idea. Imagine what one could do. One could even cheat death. As the research progressed, this special monster was kept in captivity by the professor and it even began to develop some ability to communicate with humans though its emotions remained unstable. I mean, I opened the last video recorded by the professor. The professor, who'd been in this place for 300 days for some unknown reason, decided to kill the monster he had nurtured and then take his own life, anticipating that others might come here in the future. He left a boat by the river, indicating that if they followed the direction of the birds, they could escape this place by boat. His only wish was for those who escaped to go to his office and destroy all his research findings. After saying his last words, the professor took a gun and went upstairs. Two gunshots were finally heard. You know what though, Rewatching that makes me like, it, 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 it's, you know how you see something again and then you're like, damn, I get something different from it. So check this out. You know in that movie, how they were uh trapped right we are what trapped in what encased in a dome right or whatever you want to think it is i think it's a firmament up there right it said it's in the, in the bible and everything i bet it's a firmament up there we're trapped in this firmament what they say that extraterrestrial right life they they view us right so they're watching us mimicking us and trying to integrate into our societies 
because they want to be us. What are all the celebrities and stuff now getting since they are copied into our societies and stuff now? They're getting what? Bunkers. They showed the bunker under the ground. All these celebrities are getting bunkers, man. And it's crazy because a lot of different reasons, y'all. But it's just weird to me, like the signs. We could be going down a rabbit hole that got a pile of shit at the bottom of it, but it's still a rabbit hole. <laughs> let's keep going. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. And this is for entertainment purposes only. And this is for storytelling. But they walk amongst us. I'm sorry, y'all. Purposes only. Now, have you ever heard the story about Nibiru? So we, we want to ask the question is what caused the great flood? You know, Nibiru passes Earth in the past, and we've seen that it has had uh, actual gravitational effects and, and has caused, you know, a great flood in the past. Now, if we look at some of this evidence, we can see that not only is this knowledge of the flood real, but it extends, again, all the way back to the Sumerian times. There is actually a tablet on display in the British Museum as the flood tablet. And just like Noah in the English Bible, uh, we have a version in, Sumer in Sumerian, where a Sumerian man, Utenpishtim, is chosen by an Anunnaki, a Sumerian god, to build a large craft and take his family and plants and animals from the region and load it onto this ship because of the large flood that's going to be taking place. And in this version, in the Enuma Elish, in this longer epic, they actually explain that as planet Nibiru passed by Earth in the past, it caused one of the great ice sheets to crack off. And it's like dropping a, a piece of ice in a glass of water. The water levels just raise instantly. So we have a much longer stay. A, a tape. Hey, I got a question for y'all on that. If it fell into the uh, water and it rose like it's in a glass, right? flat or something because it wouldn't happen if the shit was round and whatever though whatever though i'm tripping i'm i'm, I'm the one tripping explain why there was a great flow now it's something about this nibiru story that they don't want you to know about because this is the prophecy of the second coming of christ let me show you when they're saying that these are two moons in the sky all over the news these are all lies and I think this is what they were trying to hide from the public, but I'm still going to expose it. Where you see, this is literature that states that this planet or second moon that they're saying will grow bigger and bigger and eventually eclipse the sun. This planet larger than Jupiter and red in color has a comic-like tail and debris. Now, if you want to learn more about Nibiru, trust and believe there are multiple books and multiple sources on this specific matter. When you realize that it's hidden knowledge hidden in our fiction, because how does Yu-Gi-Oh know about planet Nibiru? Why did they try to block this knowledge initially? Or are they putting truth in fiction so that way they can avoid karma. Now, I didn't show you Google searches. I even showed you books that you can reference the information that I'm saying of the story that I'm telling because it's pure fiction. But if you want to look up pure fiction, this fiction all has the same story lining up from what I've been saying, where there's a planet size object that is headed towards Earth that called Nibiru passes by Earth every 3,600 years and allows its sentient inhabitants to interact with humanity. These beings, which Sitchin identified with the Anunnaki of Sumerian myth, would become humanity's first gods. My favorite internet encyclopedia says there's supposed to be a collision. The Nibiru collision is a disastrous encounter between the Earth and a large planetary object. And this is prophesized that this is the second coming of Christ, that Nibiru is a sign of the heavens. But you see, they lie to us about space being above. For in my 
theories. I believe that Nimbaru is a ship. This is why I believe that the CEOs are stepping down. And this is why I believe that they're trying to distract you to vote so that way you can be a part of the world when the Most High tells us not to be a part of the world. And so Nibiru is a sign for us to back up from the world because the world theoretically is about to be destroyed. And the second coming of Christ, he is coming with the sword, famine, and pestilence. And so our Heavenly Father wants us to prepare for these troubles that is headed for earth. And so we have to be with our conscious minds to accept Yahuwah and to accept the direction that he wants to go. Politics, voting, being of this world are ways to get you out of the graces of the Most High. It's because the Most High does not do politics because he knows that Satan rules the world with politics. And they say throughout the ages that God has revealed these signs to his prophets. So, states that I reveal myself from heaven with power and great glory and dwell in the right consciousness with men on earth. Yahusha told us of the certain signs and events that will warn us of the time of his second coming, the second coming of Christ. You have to understand that this is a declaration of war from the heavens coming down to our physical world and cleaning up the evil that has been prophesied for many, many years. So God is giving us the instructions to sacrifice our living bodies to his will. Now that's not declaring suicide or anything. That's basically sacrificing your own desires, your own worldly desires in order to please the most high. And this is easily said than done it's because it's a lot of temptation in this world. But being able to sacrifice your time, being a part of this world and separating yourself from them is gonna give you in the good graces with the Most High. And this is the direct opposite of what these people in our world want you to do because they want you to be of their world. They want you to participate in their politics. They want you to vote. They want you to continue this matrix going. And the moment that we stop completely, and say, I, I don't want anything to do with this world. I don't want anything to do with your politics. I'm not voting. I'm stepping back and isolating myself from the government. This is what they don't want, but this is what Yahuwah wants. And so this is why they're trying to distract us with all of this different media bullshit for this reason right here. For Nibiru is the sign that war is upon them. And so we have to choose a side. And so the inhabitants of the world that dwell on earth, not only will be able to see the signs and hear the trumpet, but of course this is gonna be the most scariest times. However, we must rejoice to know that we are on the side of the most high and he protects his people. For whether you live or die, it doesn't matter to the most high because if he deems you righteous, you will be resurrected with life. And those that he doesn't seem righteous, they will be judged to death. So the evil in this world knows that if you choose a side and that you take this time to repent for the sins of this world, that you would be in the good graces with Yahuwah. So they're trying desperately to distract you, to get you to still be of the world, still have lustful thoughts, still have evil intentions and still not warning your neighbors of the times that's coming. And so these actions condemn you. Or if everyone knew what was coming, everyone will stop watching the news. Everyone will stop putting their faith in politics and presidents and worldly governors who are the evil principalities in the Geneva Bible that they talk about. We wrestle not with um, flesh and blood, but with the evil worldly governors who are the princes of darkness.
Not like that, though. You feel me? Like. But, uh, I've heard uh, from people in the Pentagon that the buzzword in the, in the secret of secrets in the Pentagon is uh, the Sumerian gods are returning. And that's what they're referring to is that whole area. Uh, uh, that uh, Peter. Wow. Can you repeat that again, just in case anybody missed it? The well, buzzword uh, in in the Pentagon, in the you know the military circles that are in the know about the cover up here, um, the they kind of in whisper tones talk about the return of the Sumerian gods, and they're talking about the uh, what we would call aliens or fallen angels returning. Y'all know Trump is six foot three, and J D Vance. Is five foot seven. What do you see wrong here? If you do not believe we are watching a movie and we are being lied to left and right, that's central casting. That's central casting. They're in on it too, just like everybody else. Did he just say central casting? I love it when some dots start to connect. Hey, come here. Check this out. Now, who truly follow me? Because y'all know what I'm about to say. I really don't know how much more I have to do or show y'all before you start to believe. Last week, I interviewed Jaguar Wright, a singer-songwriter who's made claims about Diddy for years. Those claims had already received a lot of attention in the media across many platforms for many years. And that's the thing about platforms. The reality of the modern world is that pretty much everyone has a platform as long as they have something to say that other people want to hear. That's why we invited her on to be interviewed. The people making these claims have an audience with or without shows like mine. Well, Jack, you were right, unexpectedly made several serious allegations about Jay-Z and Beyonce during that interview. As I said in the moment, they were not present to respond or defend themselves. But now they have. Their lawyers contacted us to say that those claims were totally false and have no basis in fact and we've therefore complied with the legal request to cut them from the original interview. Editing, editing interviews is not something we do lightly at a show called Uncensored. Uh, but, like the proverbial cries of fire in a crowded theatre, there are legal limits on us too. And we apologise to Jay-Z and Beyonce. Boy, they done ran up on his ass, but he don't apologise to nobody, really. You feel me? I'm not saying he don't at all, but... Boy, hey, <laughs> hey, look, we about to see, look, we've been all asking that question. Like, why haven't we seen, she's out here saying the most outlandish things about people and nobody has got on her ass yet. But are, is this the beginning of that cycle, y'all, or what? What we about to see? Let me know in the comments down below. So, y'all, this is awkward as fuck. So I checked my email today and I happened to get a message from someone who represents Jay-Z and Beyonce. It said on behalf of Jay-Z and Beyonce. So I'm like, what the fuck? This can't be real. I opened it, y'all. So somehow the video I made on Jay-Z and Beyonce got back to them somehow. Or someone around their circle. And they did not like what I said. Y'all, I'm just a regular person. So this is crazy to me. I ain't gonna lie. I never thought me making a video would have Jay-Z and Beyonce coming for me. This wild as fuck. So I would just like to give my utmost apology to Jay-Z, Beyonce, Blue Ivy, the twins, anybody that was offended on her team about the video I made. I read the whole email and what's understood don't need to be explained. I know y'all had the money, y'all had the power. Like I just said, I'm a regular dude, bruh. I would just like to say it again. I humbly apologize. I did not mean to cause any harm to you, Miss Queen Beyonce. Like, I don't want no problems. I don't want no beef. I did not know my video would make me get an email. And yeah, I just, like I said, I apologize. I don't want no smoke. Y'all got it. I'm not trying to wake up with my phone hacked or me 
mysteriously disappearing from the internet. So y'all, hey. Hello. This message is a reference to the future of this realm. Please share this message for those who have ears to hear, let them hear. I have not included any type of hashtag because if this message is for you, then you will receive it. As you all know, everything that you've learned is total opposite. For example, your compass. What is true north, south, east, and west is not what you've been told. Everything is upside down and inside out. Well, the poles are shifting or turning to correction. You will experience bursts of energies due to the turning of the poles. Every portion of this realm shall feel this effect. This is a part of the realignment. This has to be. The sun is assisting with much needed solar energy due to the contamination of this realm. This happens during the last stages of a dimension in preparation for those whom are about to enter. So please listen carefully because it can get a little confusing. The dimension you are about to leave, which only will be a few of you who will ascend to the fifth dimension, while others will be left behind here in the fourth dimension due to their inability to learn righteous balance. Much of the landmass here will be submerged and will appear to those whom are entering the fourth reality as islands, just as you see islands today when they enter into this dimension, the fourth dimension, they will see everything as pieces of islands. So, in other words, there will be a new breed of beings to enter the fourth dimension from the third dimension. Those that reincarnate back here or have failed and is unable to enter the fifth dimension will only be here, be able to see the fifth dimension from afar, but will never be able to enter it until they have mastered what's needed to ascend. Depending on what they've done, they are able to be the new leaders of the fourth dimension depending on how much information they have acquired and how they were as human beings what type of morals did they have and where where their heart rests at now if they abuse their power they only get one chance to do it again or they will be disintegrated so those who are currently ruling this system are on their second chance but some kind of way, they manage to get assistance from wicked beings, believing that they can escape their disintegration, but they can't. These forces are unfavorable, unfavorable to balance in your realm. They lean more toward the evil side of the scale, believing false promises that these powers of the cosmos has given them. All will come to an end, which leads me into World War III. World War III has begun. The battles you've been hearing about isn't what it seems to be. You have beings here that are posing as people or human, and they are not. The United States has a close connection with these beings, these pirates. There is so much information that has been obtained and recorded. This world has exceeded the balance of the expected order in a negative impact. It has been consumed with wars, hatred, control, and other forms of impurity and continues to spiral downwards and has impacted other worlds within Mother Earth. It has impacted those in inner Earth and other worlds within and around your world. Those that have been here since the foundation of this realm are, other, are the original caretakers of Mother Earth and are synchronizing with her and other celestial beings that have been sitting idle and now has become active. The United States is the head of the body of wickedness and once the head comes off, the whole body will fall. What's to expect? This realm has been hijacked and will be taken back by force because they're not going to give it away to you. And the way it's going to be taken back by force is through a purification process. Humanity has proven to not be able to govern themselves due to selfishness and the influences of these wicked beings. Natural forces will be a major part of purification. Time and energy will be, manip be manipulated due to the purification process. This will cause a separation of good and evil. This will attempt, sorry, they will attempt to use technology to combat the sun, 
and celestial beings, and this will cause an interruption of your daily accommodations. The sun will emit a frequency that will disable these technologies. As your sky peels back like a scroll, meteorites will begin to pour in and develop new landmass and locking in old landmass. You will see auroras emitting new light coating. This new atmosphere with fear will not be livable to many. You're going to know if you belong here or not, if you have passed or failed. This final war is against humanity. They are determined to bring you down with them, to eradicate you, to bring you to your lowest state, to keep you bound here. Well, damn, didn't that sound awesome? Like, <laughs> no, nah, I'm just playing. But look, check this out, though. So the, the, the shit going to put... We didn't heard the sky peeling back many times, y'all, right? The sky peeled back, right? So it ain't my theory. It's going to be a bunch of giants that's going to be like, oh, I got some chocolate and vanilla snacks down there. I got some yellow ones, too. You know what I'm saying? It's just be picking us up and shit. Like, it's not that, right? So... Is it is it that we're getting upgrades and and some people based on like the foods they eat they don't exercise they don't meditate they don't pray whatever this thing is they ain't at peace they're not out here grounding be trying to trying to become a better person you know on this planet are those the people that are not picking up the new frequencies and energies that are coming into this planet that will transmute your DNA and turn you into that goddess or god that you need to be to survive the next wave of environments that's gonna happen on this damn planet i don't know but we showing sure never is gonna find out right 10 years later we still doing this shit talking about the same shit i'm just playing i am be doing something else y'all shit's getting weird part infinity i just got fired so i was real nervous and justin was born i didn't really know what to do he was born the night before New Year's Eve. So I just started partying from then. I used to have this house in Scarsdale that I was renting. And I had my whole neighborhood from Harlem come to my house. Because I just had my first born baby. You know, Roots was big to me. So I was... Look how DJ Khaled is looking. He like, he like, man, I remember this shit. God damn, you shouldn't be telling this story. That shit sound... Ready to hold my baby, my king up. And I was fired. I didn't know what was going to happen. The next week, though, I met Clive Davis. And, and inshallah, through God, everything worked out. But I remember that I invited my... I'm sorry, y'all, but I, I, it's a pet peeve of mine. I, I get tired of uh, people hiding behind their religions and all this other stuff, shouting out names when you're actually the most effed up person that there is. You out here abusing people, children, everything, you know? But then you want to hide behind religions. That's what's historically has been happening. A lot of people that are close to these churches, and I'm not saying everybody, but y'all know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. People love to hide behind a religion so they can make it seem like they're not as fucked up as they are, really. It's crazy. And those are the people I don't think is going to make it. Yeah, let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments down below. I had to get it off my chest. A whole neighborhood to my house. Crazy. They trashed my house. And it was the greatest party ever. And I remember my baby mother was mad at me because I wasn't at the hospital. But I was so excited to have had a son. I told her I had the party. I had to have this party. Wait, what? <laughs> Mr. Puff Daddy P. Diddy Combs, you just had a son. Okay, that's cool, playboy. Would you like to come in and be with your girlfriend and newborn son? My IB drip. Born likeness. So it shows you that mankind's plural. Let us. Yaki Elohim. Elohim just means Anunnaki. It's these group of beings. When God in the Bible says, God said, let man, let us, let us, plural. It says, and God said, and Elohim said, Elohim is God. And so when you look at the word Elohim, it means God with an S, God's plural. So many gods created man. It said, let is God, and God said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. So it shows you that mankind is a is, is a template. And we look like our creator. That's that's the first thing they said, right? And then once you see that, it's, then it says what they're going to do. I'm going to give them the dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, wooty wop and this and that. But notice the instruction came. 
He created Adam and Eve. He put Adam and Eve, Elohim did. So Elohim, these gods created man, this biological man. They put this man in a garden, right? So they put man in a garden. And then it says his whole purpose was to dress and keep the garden. So his whole purpose was for servitude in the first place. He was supposed to dress and keep this little simulation that the creator Elohim put him in. Then it said that he got smart and he disobeyed Elohim, right? And when he got smart and disobeyed Elohim, he left one service place where it didn't seem like he was working, but to dress and keep the garden is still servitude. You know, he had to guard the garden. What was he guarding the garden for? And he had to dress it, meaning he made he had to build it up and make it fashionable for him and his family. But after him, after Adam and Kawhi, who they call Adam and Eve, went against Elohim's plan and instructions, he kicked them out of one simulation and then he put them in a more hostile environment. Now, in this hostile environment, guess what it says? It says that they had to work from the sweat of thy what? Brow. So now they went from this, you know, tilling the garden to this rigorous hard work. Then you start looking around in the book of Genesis. It's talked about how they worked in a place where there was gold, Havilah, where there was gold. It, the talk, it talks about that they gold mine. It talks about how they was working in the in, in the middle of four rivers, which where the garden was at. They kicked them out of the garden and put something called a melakin or archangel in to keep them from getting back into paradise. And while they was outside of paradise, they literally had to work from the sweat of their brow. And if you read in the book of Enoch or you read in the book of Jasher or you read in the book of Adam and Eve, it shows how rigorous that work was. <laughs> Do y'all know somebody with a very powerful microscope, telescope, telescope, said that there is a fleet of UFOs coming to Earth right now, heading to us deep like the Wu-Tang Clan. They about to come up in here. Do y'all know why? Because y'all don't know how to act sitting around here destroying everything around the world. Now they got to come. You know they need our resources too. They've been doing business with us for thousands of years undetected mind their own business now y'all just took it too far too far look at this place it's a wreck snow in the desert well that probably didn't happen but it is only a matter of time Never. messing around with y'all okay human beings don't know how to act ever who raised y'all but the point is please act like you got some sense when this company is here. Do not embarrass us. <laughs> Do you understand me? <laughs> we have a whole lot of extraterrestrials. That's, and I don't know if they judge you or not. But don't you come up in here acting no goddamn fool. Alright? I want you to sit down somewhere and act like you got some sense. When we have company. I don't want to tell you this again. If I have to come back and tell y'all to settle down, it's going to be a problem. Because we don't want no beef. They're coming in deep. And they're a lot smarter than the whole host of you. So don't try to be a wise guy. AKA, don't get us more fucked up than what we already is. You feel me? Look, that's a good way to end this right here, man. Look. With some mama energy out here. Y'all remember those conversations? When I go into this store, don't ask me for nothing. You feel me? One of those speeches. But look, man, let me know how y'all felt about this. Collectively, y'all sent in some amazing clips. Some of the clips we've seen be before. But collectively, when watching this, it made sense, man. Let me know if y'all are tracking. It's always a, mes a message that is being showed to us through collective activities let me know if you can see those connections at all you know uh i could have made this video i could i could have sauced it up but it's just it was just good the way that it was right here because i got a full message out of this and you know i got some things you know that i jotted down mentally that i need to put on these on these tabs right here that i want to go ahead and look up man and and verify some more information man i got some more amazing clips that y'all been sending and we got more and more videos that's gonna be pumping out of here man and just make sure y'all got y'all notifications on man let's get these videos to like twenty thousand likes as soon as they drop man so that we can continue to kill this algorithm that's trying to suppress you know people thinking independently like i always say my videos are not for you to believe anything that i'm saying this is for us to come have some 
pretty cool conversations about things that you don't normally get to talk about with your friends and stuff because they probably might think it's weird but we could talk about it on here you know but uh don't mean that everything is real but some things might be real to you through your experiences so i'm not one of those people that's gonna knock you in your experiences if you got violated by some aliens i'm not gonna be one of those people like no the hell you didn't look man you, anything is possible out here in the world and I, it's not my job to uh completely like shit on people but look man I love to bring people together to have these interesting conversations. We can agree to disagree and agree, but we can still be family at the same time. We ain't got to beat each other up. You know what I'm saying? But correct each other and keep it moving. Because me, I'm not right all the time and neither are you. You know, so collectively we come together, man, create a good vibe. And I do appreciate y'all for always stopping by and hanging out with your boy. But look, I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. And like I always say, spread love because there's too much hate in this world. I love you guys. See you on the next video. And I'm out though.